Hello everyone. So today let us continue our journey of publishing documents with org mode. I was trying to think of uh, a proper name of uh, the series of basically using org mode for publishing documents and basically uh, only relying on text based files for uh, uh, creating proposals, writing books, maybe creating invoices, or maybe doing any kind of documentation where you may want to also share it with other people. And that is what I have been doing for the past few days. I'm sharing various small tips and tricks, uh, not really tricks, but basically various ways that I am also discovering and enjoying. So today I thought I'll probably share something really, really interesting, which I think is uh, going to help a lot of people. Now, I write books and uh, I have a lot of material. I have a lot of notes. Now, the problem is that whenever I'm writing a book, for example, uh, let, let me give you the, the background. So right now I'm writing this uh, particular uh, book where I will have, of course, different sections. I mean, usually in a book you have different chapters but in any technical document or a book or whatever you're writing where you have to basically share things uh, you may already have uh, the content somewhere else for example if i'm writing a book on uh, for, for, for example right now i'm uh, basically writing uh, this particular post which will be nothing but uh, uh, I'll, I'll make a video out of it and I'll also publish it somewhere. So this would be part of the book that I'm writing. Now the problem with the book is that uh, if you are bringing in content from various places, for example, usually in a book, you may have something like uh, about you or about your company, or you know you may have something that you want to maybe uh, that you may already have written somewhere, but that particular piece of content is something that you don't really want to duplicate. Because when you're writing a book, I mean, one approach is that I can have, uh, for example, if I'm writing a, a big book, I will have this section called uh, Guide to Start Your Atlassian Career in the beginning. And I may want to include this particular uh, section or a chapter or a subsection again somewhere else, maybe in a different document. And I, I don't really want to do it because I, I think uh, this particular org file would be my source, my ultimate source of co source of truth, or basically, you know, my my most up to date uh, version of this particular document. And whenever I'm writing a book, or whenever I'm basically consolidating those uh, different uh, subsections or sections into a big book, I I'm looking for a programmatic way or some kind of a some kind of a, a org mode uh, trick so that I don't really really have to duplicate the same section again uh, in the same book or maybe in, in in the second book or third book so the idea is the, uh, the, uh, the idea here is that i want to basically in simple terms i want to include files and when i say include files it has to be the actual content so whether basically if i want to basically have one book with the uh, five chapters those five chapters can sit in their own org file and when i export this particular book the book should basically bring in the content from those five org files and it will do a consolidation. So this is actually, uh, so I, initially I was not really sure whether, uh, uh, because you know, one one approach could be that you can do something like, you know, for example, if you insert your code block, um, you can uh, do, I mean, l l like shell, right? I mean, l let us say you want to run something in the shell and you can do a cat. And when you do cat, you're basically just, uh, uh, running this particular command to uh, pull in the content from this org file. So this is probably not going to work perfectly because uh, the output, I mean, this might work, uh, but I, I haven't really expo explored it properly, but I, I'm, I'm personally not really uh, a, f a fan of this approach. Uh, I think uh, because we are dealing with org files, org mode should take care of this. And I was hoping that there is there, there would be a way and there is fortunately there is a way and that particular uh, way is to basically use uh, include so this particular uh, include can inc include files from or basically org files from uh, 
the location that you want to pass here. So let me show you. So first of all, if I do, ex do an export of this particular uh, document, I'll do it very quickly. I'll generate this uh, PDF, this uh, LaTeX file, and uh, I will show you the <laughs> the the, uh, con the the output. So basically, this particular PDF file on the right hand side, it has uh, you know title and content, and you know all these subtrees. So this is great. And the last section is thank you for your uh, questions. I do have this file. Let me open one one more file. Uh, which is another file and it, it, let us say this is an, another chapter which is somewhere else, maybe in a different org file. So let me just do it very quickly. So this particular uh, star.org Yep, so this is another file which I want to basically include or cons consolidate it with the one that I just generated. So if I do an, do an export of this one, let us also do it very quickly. So we have two PDF files, but I don't really want that. I want, I mean, I can always, you know, merge PDFs later on, but that would be, that is not really ideal, right? So this is, this is my second PDF. Now, let me use the include method to basically generate one PDF file out of these two files. And uh, come on, where is my, yep, this is my um, org file. And uh, what I'll do is, is I'll probably copy this because it's a long path. I don't really have to manually type in here. So let us do that. And uh, what I will do is I will, because right now this is the subtree, the last subtree of my file. If I do something here, this particular uh, org file, which is mastering Jira work management.org, this will be added as a child of uh, thank you for your questions. You know, the last uh, subtree of my master or main uh, guide to start your Atlassian career. So let me do, an export of this again one more time and uh, and if I look at uh, the PDF, the PDF will be slightly weird but uh, let, let me show you, <laughs> let me show you the output. So let us go back to the very top. So the first thing that you will notice is that you have the title which is uh, Guide to Start Your Atlassian Career and then we have second title which is coming from the second org file. So we also have second uh, subtitle and then second author which is again, not really perfect, but because the good thing is that it is nothing but, uh, because if you look at the other document, uh, where is it? This one, you can simply uh, do something because it is a text file. You can basically uh, exclude the title subtree. And I'm, uh, I mean, there are a couple of ways of doing it. I'm just looking for the best way. Let me show you one thing, one way of doing it. Let me just go back to the document. Yep. So, this is of course the PDF and uh, if, you, if I scroll down, you will notice that we have this thank you for your questions and the second org file, which is basically from another folder, another file altogether, is now added as a, I mean, all the headers are now added as a as like child or children of this particular main. Uh, thank you for your questions. Thank you and your questions uh, section. So this is probably fine, but I want uh, this particular uh, second org file to maintain its uh, level. I don't really want uh, it to become a child. And fortunately, you can do that with the help of uh, min level. And if I do this, you can actually specify that uh, this will be its own uh, separate subtree in the PDF, in the generated PDF. And this actually works with not only LaTeX, but also Reveal. I'm also, I, I don't really think I have shown you Reveal. I'll probably, you know, show, show you or, or maybe share my version of, uh, because I, there are a couple of other videos on YouTube. I'll also make my own version because I, when, when I share something, it is my own perspective, my own customizations, and uh, I do things that fit in my workflow. So I'll do that. I'll also make a video on Reveal, apart from, of course, you no know, LaTeX. But there are a lot of common things. Uh, because when you, when you when you do an export, most of the things are common. It is more about you know the initial setup that you do, and that is why I have two files on top for LaTeX and Reveal. So this is my PDF, and now course overview is now its own section altogether. So this is perfect in my opinion. I just need to figure out a way to 
exclude uh, i mean what you can do is you can actually specify here uh, line numbers like a range of lines but i i'm looking for uh, a dynamic way of doing it i mean i'm sure there is a way uh, because i might need to modify a variable so that whenever you include a file like another org file uh, maybe we have to tell org mode to uh, ignore the title but at least there is a way uh, and there is a good way of doing it it is not really we are doing a cat that might work but uh, i need to also check it and uh, today i thought i'll probably share this with all of you because you may have those other org files without those title or subtitle and in that case this will work perfectly so that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today and uh, i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this video and at the same time i just wanted to uh, tell you that thank you very much for your support i think uh, for the past few months ever since i because on this particular channel i talk a lot about linux i talk a lot, a lot about drupal but my main focus has always been emacs and org mode because i love it and uh, and thank you thank you very much for watching my videos so that is all bye bye